It was really something to see. I mean, the whole beach lit up, the, the whole ocean lit up with firing from guns and everything else. And when I thought nothing of it, I mean, we're heading toward the beach until all of a sudden bullets were hitting on the side of the ship and the water. And I looked into the well of the boat and there was 35 soldiers in there and I don't think there was an atheist in there because every one of us was making a sign of the cross as we were going in. And I happened to look. <laughs> I looked to the right, and I seen a boat get hit. And then that's when I realized what we were going into. As I hit the beach, Wally Lawton lowered the ramp, and the soldiers started pouring out. And I seen them dropping. I seen them getting shot. I seen them their faces blown off. God, it was a awful sight. <laughs> it's a sight I'll never forget. It's been in my mind since. <laughs> this is the first time I ever talked about it. I hope it's my last. <laughs> As they were going off, there was one soldier there that didn't want to leave. I guess he froze. He seen what happened in front of him. And we were instructed not to take anybody back unless they were wounded or dead. <laughs> As I lifted up my arm, tell him to get off, I was shot over here and it came out my back. And as he went over, I don't know whether he got hit or not, I backed the boat out. And as I backed the boat out, we were passing the second waves that were coming in and the third waves that were coming in. And all of a sudden I started feeling faint. And one of my crew members took over the boat and we backed to the ship. And that was D-Day for me, an awful bloody sight. <laughs>